The goal of this guide is to provide tips on how to set up the Singer Futura CE200 embroidery machine on your Windows 10 system using VirtualBox. I was so excited to bring home this embroidery machine that I bought on the used marketplace. Embroidery machines can be very pricey, so when I saw this one on Facebook auction for $150 starting bid, I bid on it and won for $152. According to my manual, this machine is from 2004. At the time of this video's publication, this machine is already 15 years old. Unlike more modern embroidery machines, this machine needs to be hooked directly to a computer. This machine came out when Windows XP was king, so the software that came with it naturally supports XP. According to the official Futura support page, you can update to Windows Vista or Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit, if you purchase the Futura 2.5 upgrade from an authorized Singer dealer. Even with the 2.5 upgrade, it does not support Windows 8 or higher. When I first brought home the machine, I ended up buying a used computer with Windows XP, super cheap, and I used that for a while, but it was a hassle switching monitors back and forth between my actual computer and my future dedicated computer. I received a tip from a viewer in the comment section of my Singer Future Auto Punch demo to try out VirtualBox on Windows 10. It's a software that you can run to virtualize other operating systems on your own computer. With VirtualBox, I was able to install an instance of Windows XP within my Windows 10 system. This is super convenient and you don't need to use the future 2.5 upgrade at all. So what do you need to get this started? You'll need the Singer Future CE200 sewing machine and its hoops. You'll need Windows computer with a CD drive and access to the internet to download VirtualBox. You'll need a copy of Windows XP. And you'll need the future software CDs that came with the machine. Step 1 is to install VirtualBox and Windows XP. You can download VirtualBox from virtualbox.org. You'll need to find an old Windows XP CD to install. We use Windows XP Service Pack 3. Once you're all set up, we can configure VirtualBox to recognize the Futura. Go ahead and plug in your Futura via the USB cable and turn it on. You'll need to change the settings to allow VirtualBox to access the Futura via the USB port. This is letting your USB pass through to your virtual machine. Within your XP VirtualBox, go into Settings, USB, and click on the second icon on the right-hand side for adding new USB filter. Click on the unknown device or CLEM, which is your Futura. If you have more than one unknown device, I recommend unplugging all your unnecessary USB devices to narrow it down. Click OK to save the changes. You can now turn off the machine. Installing the Futura software. Insert the Futura CD. Open My Computer and double-click the Futura CD icon. I didn't change any of the default settings, so press Next until the software starts installing. When it's done, it will automatically create a Start Menu and Desktop shortcut for you. With the Futura software installed, the Windows XP Virtual Machine should now recognize the Futura sewing machine as a device. Turn on your sewing machine. A little message will pop up in the notification area, letting you know that new hardware is found. When you click on it, it'll ask you about letting Windows Update search for software. Tell it no. Next, tell it to install the software automatically. When it's finished, you're ready to double-click the Futura shortcut on the desktop and start playing with the embroidery software. And just a note, the Futura software will not open if the Futura machine is not connected and turned on. If you're lucky enough to have the add-on CDs, you'll need to install those separately as well. I personally have the CDs for Hyperfont and AutoPunch. There are more of them out there as well if you can find them. I would really love to have the cross-stitch one one day. For each CD you have, insert it into your computer and install them the same way by accessing my computer and following the prompts. Next, you'll need to install the update patches. You can find these patches on the Futura support website under the software menu. You'll need to download two patches, Futura XP Update September 2006 and Futura Service Pack 2 options. 
When you're on their website, the download links look almost identical, but you can tell which is which more easily by hovering your mouse over the download links and checking the file name. I'll also include the links in the description below. Double-click the file from 2006 first. Accept all the default prompts to proceed with the setup installation. Next, double-click on the file with SP in it. Accept all the default prompts to proceed with the setup installation. Turn off your Futura machine, restart your computer, and then turn the Futura back on. Now you can open up the Futura software and see if everything looks good. If you installed add-on CDs, these options should now appear in the Create menu. Now you're ready to create designs and transmit them to your Futura. A quick guide to using the Futura software. If this is your first time using the Futura, I'll show you a quick start guide using the built-in embroidery designs that come with the software to get you started. If you need to change the hoop size, go into the Tools menu, select Hoop, and then choose either Small Hoop or Large Hoop. Click on Create, then Design Library. You'll see that there's a bunch of designs in two categories, one for the large hoop and one for the small hoop. You can choose one and insert it into the canvas. You can move it around wherever you'd like and then press Enter to confirm the position. From the File menu, choose Transmit to send the design over to the sewing machine. Before transmission, it will ask you if you want to optimize for speed. I generally say no since it can impact the final results. I'd rather be a little slower and have it look great. If the carriage is in the wrong position, you may receive a message like this one that will instruct you to remove the hoop, turn it off and on. This will reset the machine to standby position. Make sure that you have the machine threaded with the desired color and make sure your tension is set to E. Your hoop should already be loaded up with fabric and stabilizer. When you're ready, you can click Send the Block. Press the Start button on your machine to begin the embroidery process. Enjoy! Troubleshooting. Things will go wrong. Let's see how to fix them. Sometimes when transmitting a design, you'll get a message that says, a transmission to the machine is still pending. You must cancel the previous transmission to continue. But there is no cancel function built into the software. No matter where I've looked, can't find it. So the best bet is to just close your future of software, turn off your sewing machine, turn the machine back on, and then reopen the software. That should do the trick. If it's still having issues, restart your entire computer and start again. For error-free embroidering, follow this procedure every time and it will set you up for success. Start with your computer and sewing machine turned off. Boot up your computer, then open VirtualBox. If the embroidery unit isn't already attached, attach it now. Make sure the foot control pedal is not plugged in. Turn on the sewing machine. Turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle is in the highest position. Attach the desired size hoop to your embroidery unit. Double click on the Futura icon on your desktop to open the Futura software. You're now ready to select and transmit a design to your machine. I'll be posting a follow-up video with instructions on how to thread the machine and how to load the embroidery hoops, so please be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing that along with my other crafting and sewing videos. I hope that this guide has helped you set up the Singer Futura CE200 on your Windows 10 system using VirtualBox and Windows XP. If you're interested in seeing the Auto Punch feature, I also have a video on that on my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment with any feedback. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot. Since you already have Windows XP installed, play a quick game of 3D Pinball like it's the year 2001.